We are back with the Mill Career Mode. This is episode two. I am the gaming Blake. Thank you so much for coming back. If you've seen it, I hope first episode I decided to uh, record in a bulk just so I can get uh, a lot of the to you guys, and we'll see what happens. But um, I really had fun playing that first episode. I hope well. If we, again, if I asked for five likes on that last one. If we can get five likes on this one as well, that would be truly amazing, and it lets me know that you guys are really enjoying this series. So, where we stand right now, we're in the middle of the window, we have inquired about a few players, hopefully the scouts come back with some more players I can look at, he has, so we're going to have a look at what he's saying, I'm going to look to sign some more players, not that I feel we need to make too many changes based on how we're playing, but um, there are definitely some improvements that need to be made, we're going to mess around with them, see what happens, and I'm going to let you guys know anything that happens in between the friendlies, I'll show you the sims of the friendlies, and then hopefully that will bring us to the start of the new season. Okay, so the first thing that has happened is Gazanegan, the keeper that we inquired about, is they're asking for the price of 975, which would be Mel Millwall's record signing. Um, I've got to say, after Jordan Archer's performance, I'm not really that interested. I'm going to offer one more deal of 700. They don't accept. I'm not interested. Because we have Ford as a backup if needs be, but I'm happy so far with Jordan Archer as the first team keeper. Okay guys, so I just quickly, off camera, went through players that I'm going to list for loan and lit players that are up for transfer. The only players that are on for transfer list are Sean Cummings and Jimmy Abdu. Sean Cummings I'm not going to be too sad about because obviously we have Romeo who played particularly well in that first game. And we also have um, our other right back who I can't remember the name of. Off the top of my head, Edwards, that's the one. Edwards, who of course will probably be seeing his career out here. Jimmy Abdu, I'm a little sad about because he is a Millwall legend and he will be remembered forever for the work he did at Millwall, in my opinion. Uh, but he's 30 years old, 62 rating, he's not really going to grow. And we need to think about the future rather than the sentiments. And you can just quickly look through the loan list you poured if you need to. But all of these players are disposable and a very, very low rating, so we just want to send them out alone and see if they can grow. Okay, so Adam Armstrong's comeback said they want 1.8. The comeback said they want 1.7 for Naki Wells, and someone has offered 725,000 for Gazaniga. Do you know what? I don't think I need to worry about keepers for this season, so I'm not going to try and outbid Bradford City. Um, as much as it worries me that someone in our league will have a keeper like him. But we're going to offer both of these an extra 250k. They're both decent strikers. They're not essentials. Strikers are an area in particular that we are uh, really good at. We had a lot of goals in that first game. I don't know what it'll be like in Sim, which is what we're about to do against Olympic Nimens. Oh, you'll have to excuse me, guys. I'm terrible with names. Clubs. Uh, some countries and stuff. But Morrison and Gregor get themselves a goal to get a 2-2 draw, which hopefully will be enough to see us through the rest of the group stage, which hopefully give us a bit more cash in hand. We're playing particularly well. Yeah, we're second in the group right now. Big Gregory's got two, which is fantastic. We're off to a great start to this, to be honest, guys. So we're looking at, I'm looking here at this three-agent keeper, Najek Vidmar, 26 years old, he could be a decent backup keeper, I feel. Maybe he could be first team keeper. I might come back to him, depending on how I'm feeling, but I feel he could be something to look at. Alright, so our first transfer offer has been received, and it's the Sean Cummings for 575k. I'm just going to say if they can match that, I'll take it. It's extra funds, which will help us. Extra wages that will be cleared up as well. So hopefully that will do us a solid to be sold to Blackburn Rovers, which is out of our league, which is good. And the first thing I see there is Huddersfield have accepted 1.2 mil for Naki Wells, which will be a record signing for Mill. We're going to offer him a five-year deal. I don't want to offer him any particular role. We're going to just send him that and see what he says. I don't want to offer him a crucial first-team role if I can't promise that to him. Adam Armstrong's declined, which is okay, because we do have Naki Wells, which is good. Okay, I'm assuming the final game of the group stage here. It's a costly one, but of course it's not important. Because the tournament's not important. We're going to send a 3 0 win. O'Brien, Gregory, and Oyedema. Oh, Gregory's on fire right now, which is really promising. Oyedema and O'Brien, good to see them on the score sheet. And the prize money we get for that is nearly 400k. So that's extra money to add to the funds to help try and complete some of these deals. So the scout has brought to my attention Brian Oviedo. I'm going to call him Oviedo. 25 year old left back from Everton. He could be a decent player. I'm going to see what rating he's at before we make any 
We haven't made an inquiry, but we're going to see what he is valued at before we make any approach, but he could be a decent addition. So just doing some extra further training there. If anything grows, we'll show you. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, your demon grows to a 63. I thought he would grow pretty quickly. And he has no disappointment there. Fred, what you did that. Transfer offer now for now, Jim Abdu. Oh, this is going to hurt. 140k to Doncaster. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask for 200 because he has sentimental value to this club. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind just leaving him there as added debt. Have we done it? Yeah, 600k for Sean Cummings. It looks like Sean Cummings will be departing. And Naki Wells, we can confirm, is the first signing in his career match for Millwall's record fee of £1.25 million. We're going to add him to the club. Naki Wells, 69 rated. Uh, 69. 25 years old. He's going to be a fantastic addition to this squad, I feel. Welcome to the team. Right, they have come back to me and said they want two mil. From Brian Oviedo, which is just ridiculous because look at his age. So we're going to offer him a million straight up for Brian Oviedo. I might trade the player if we need to, but we do need extra left backs because we only have the one. And that could be costly if we don't have another one. Okay, we're going to si simulate the semi-final, a mix of a team. But we do have Naki Wells playing his first game for us wearing that number 14. And it's a loss. We are knocked out to kill Marnik. Which is disappointing that we got no goals. I wouldn't mind getting knocked out if we had scored, but no goals on debut for Naki Wells. That's not a promising sign. Okay, so we're looking at the backup choice for a keeper here. Uh, Joe Lewis, who has one year left of his contract. Please ignore the buzzing and the background. But he could be decent just as a backup option. We're going to offer 150, 67 rated as well. That's going to be a decent deal if we can snag Joe Lewis for the quite cheap. And a tournament for prize money there, 576 grand, which is very decent to add to the funds. Uh, then, unfortunately, we didn't reach the finals, which they always are. Uh, but I'm happy with how we played, and now we can just sim to the first game of the season. I think it's just going to be purely transfers in the preseason, and we will start the first and second games next episode. And they have said they want two mil for Oviedo, as well as the fact that Sean Cummings is sold, and we have 500k extra. Oh, Joe Lewis has just been offered 300k, which is not good. And we can't even send another offer, which isn't good either, which means we're probably going to lose that. But what we're going to do now is we are going to offer one and a half mil. And that is the farthest I will go because I don't know what his rating is. And it's risky signing someone not knowing what their rating is. Can I not offer him a deal? Oh, there we go. We can offer, we can offer him a new deal. So we are going to, they offered, what was it, 3, 2, 5? So we will offer them 350. I don't want to offer any more than that, because obviously he might just be a backup or he might not. Maybe Jordan Archer will have to sit up for the season and try and grow. But we'll see what happens. It'd be nice to have a keeper that we know we can depend on. Oh, wow, another close coming for Joe Lewis. Taking the piss, he was clearly a keeper in the mark. So it doesn't look like we're going to get him. Fulham have rejected because they've accepted an offer from another team. I'm not just going to keep raising. Look how many teams are in for Joe Lewis. It's ridiculous how many actually went for him. So that's another player we're going to miss out on, guys. We still only have signed one player. Oh, he even has a PSG. That's sick. But we've only signed the one player. But it does look like we're going to get maybe another one. One and a half mil for Brian Abino. You know. um, it's risky. 20k! Jesus Christ! They're asking for a lot of money, these players. But luckily, we can stretch it. Hopefully, he's good. I, I'm worried that we, fact we haven't start scouted him still. Uh, Keaton Wood looks like he's going to go out and loan to Chesterfield. Good. Increase the wage budget a bit there. But I'm really worried about him. I don't know if I can go through with it. Oh, no. They matched Jimmy Abdu. I didn't even notice. Oh, my God. Jimmy Abdu has departed. That is really sad. I'm actually really sad about that one. Jimmy Abdu, we do have extra funds, but that is incredibly disappointing. Okay, one player we're going to look here to bolster the squad is 27-year-old Thomas Riefeldt-Schammer. I'm going to call him Hammer. I'm going to call him, yeah, I'm going to call him Hammer, fuck it. 65 rated, 27 years old, similar player to Byron Webster and Mark Beavers. We're going to offer them straight up 200k to try and seal this deal. I don't think there are going to be many players in for him, but he could be a decent addition to the squad. 
And Oviedo has declined because he needs to understand the role he will have at the club. Well, I guess if he comes in... Oh! Okay. Then I guess you are going to be the first team left back. I had no idea he was that high rated. He'll be the highest rated player at the club, which is really good. And, um, yeah, I guess he will overtake Joel Martin, who will take the... the best. Retful Hammer. You're going to have to tell me how to pronounce that, guys, because I have no idea. But he has declined. Uh, what was the reason? It was it too much, too low, and he was. Uh, yeah, they believe he's worth more than that. Understandable. We are going to now offer two hundred and fifty before offering anything higher than that. This is still going to be a still deal. Sixty-five rated centre back for literally nothing pennies, considering what we could get for some of the well-known players. Just doing a bit of training here. Continue forward. Any growth? We do. We have Sid Nelson growing to 64. Funny fact, I actually went to school with Sid Nelson, not in the same year group, but I did actually go to school with Sid Nelson, and that's quite a funny, interesting fact. And the future of my career, I was expecting this. Carl Swedwoods is going to see out his career here. He'll probably be starting left back for now, unless I get Romeo to start, but I think he's going to be starting right back. And they rejected again because the offer is still too low. Brian Oviedo wants to play in more prestigious leagues and fill the league as a step down. Dude, you're a bench warmer to Leighton Baines. What are you talking about? All right. Because everybody's in it for the money. Let's do that. Shut him up and hopefully steal what will be a very good addition to the squad. Oh, God. I can't believe I hate when players do that. You're a bench player. You shouldn't be complaining. I reject it again? Ah. Richard Hammer, you're costing me a lot of money, right? We're going to match his value at 350. Surely they should have accepted that. He's on a one-year deal anyway, so they're going to want to get rid of him as quick as they can. Transfer offer for Chris Parr, a one-year loan to some random club I've never even heard of. Clears up some wages for us, and he's another young, growing prospect at Mill. So have a good season, and we'll see what happens when he gets back. All right, so we have accepted the deal here. Thomas Richful Hammer. I have no idea how you pronounce it. I'm just going to keep calling him Hammer. I say that every time, but I don't. I'm going to offer him exactly what he wants. Don't want to offer him a crucial deal. Alright, so we sent an offer in for Paul. So I'm just inquiring. 1.6 mil they want for him. We have that much. I'm going to start with that, though. He's someone that I do know is a pretty decent player. Obviously, playing at Newcastle right now. Who got relegated. I was going to do the updated promotion relegation. I never came around to it, I don't think. But... Be interesting to see what they say, but we do have now Thomas Rootful Hammer, who doesn't take that, that much wages. He's going to be a decent addition to the squad, and he's the second signing of the career mode as well, so that's going to be an interesting signing. Let's see how he fits into the team. And Newcastle United have accepted that for Dummett. I'm not 100% sure what his rating is, but I'm pretty sure I'm scouting him. So we're just going to offer him that, and we'll offer him important first team player. I know he's got a good rating though, and he will be a fantastic signing. And that brings us to the end of this episode. It was just going to be strictly transfers today. We made the signing of Rich Volshammer. I'm not sure how much potential he has, but he's a very decent player to add to the team. Next, get, ne next episode, we're going to do the first two games, which is the cup game and this game, the opening game of the season against Chesterfield. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if we can hit five likes on the video, that would be fantastic. Be sure to sub so I know that you guys are enjoying it and you guys want to see more. And that's it for me today as I save this career mode and wrap up the video. Peace.